Let's start over. Let's start over. Let's start over. Come on, okay. man. You know this is a friendly story. visit. We brought right. dance up. We came to bless you guys up. Right. We brought Panturse. We brought yeah. Cafecito. Okay. What we want you to do is no. to join us in saying that we know that programs yeah. that work with children, yeah. youth, and families are right. some of the best ways to provide I, real, authentic public safety. But they're a percent of a percent of the budget. And almost majority of our budget, the biggest line item is the police. Where are the kids at? They're on the street. And what are they doing? Whose streets? Okay. Our streets. That's right, it's our streets. We live here. Most of the crime that's happening right now is property crimes because people are just trying to struggle to survive. I work in the juvenile hall. I'm a juvenile justice commissioner. Yeah. Yeah. So I take a look at the data. Yeah. I get yeah. to see what the crimes yeah. young people are being yeah. incarcerated I, for. I Most of daily. it is property crimes. Yeah. I see them daily. So all I'm saying is that if we can actually provide yeah. viable employment, yeah. education, stable housing, those kinds of I things, that's what keeps us safe. And those are where we need to see those and, investments. And police, we don't really yeah. feel, I don't feel safe with the police. Every time I see a police officer, my heart, my heart starts going like this. Necesitamos recursos para nuestras comunidades, yeah. necesitamos seguridad. Yeah. Ahorita no sabemos si alguien nos está atacando, si llamar a la policía yeah. es mejor o peor. Mm. Pues ahorita si no vamos bien. a morir en manos de, la, sí, de los sí, criminales, de no las bien. personas eh, yeah. de los policías. I heard you talking about one about the kids not going to school, right? I taught at Dewey Academy, you know, and I had a lot of folks, and the young folks, what they need more is more ethnic study programs, knowing their Chicano roots, knowing their African American roots, and bringing in folks like myself and folks from the community to be there, to de-escalate those turf conflicts, because when we were there, we had low amount, and Dewey even wants me back right now. Dewey wants us back. They want folks from the community to be in there to teach them the ethnic studies and to de-escalate that instead of having law enforcement. Because when law enforcement is involved, the kids get what? Back to juvenile hall or they get on the radar on um, gang task force or even the cops see them in the neighborhoods. The police, the way that they're responding is that it's totally responsive. Yeah. They're responding to yeah. crimes that have already happened, right? They, they come and so what the we're fact. talking about yeah. is prevention by investing care yeah. in people so right. that folks yeah. have jobs, so yeah. that folks have good education, yeah. as you've been talking yeah. about, so that they have a stable roof over their head, so that they're not moved to, out of necessity. Yeah to get $20 from somebody. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's yeah. a different, you know, that's really what we're talking about is how can we be creative in this moment? How can we shift our resources to show what love is in action? Yeah. The police responding to yeah. homelessness, to drug use and abuse, yeah. Yeah. To, like you said, yeah. kids oh, yeah. not being in school, yeah. a whole host of issues yeah. that they have no business responding to, quite frankly. And at some point, Politicians have to say enough is enough and redirect resources back to the things that actually make us safe. OPD has 42 percent of our of our of our budget. We don't need to we don't need to negotiate that part. It's 150 million dollars, right, y'all? How much is it? Right. Give me until Wednesday morning and I'll sit down with Curtis and some of you and we'll shoot for it. And I'll tell my car we want 150 million. You talked a lot about the schools. Well, once they show up in school, that's their work but they still are children outside of that school. And that's where the streets are, and that's where the police have their reins. And until these children can see a cop and not feel a single movement in their heart and their spirit, that's when our, our healing will continue and our work will continue. Oh, Mateo. Oh, Mateo.